Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you three easy DIY place card ideas if you're getting married this year and also if you're on a budget and you have a small guest list and want to make your own. So let's start off with these super easy chalkboard place names. So you will need chalkboard tags, chalkboard pens, ribbon in your chosen wedding colours and some scissors. So these are super easy if you want to opt for something simple yet effective as they go with any colour scheme. Everything that I use will also be linked down below. So with these chalkboard name tags all you need to do is write your guest name on each tag with either a chalkboard or metallic pen. Then once they are dry you can swap out the string if you like for ribbon in your complementing wedding colours. To style this you can tie the ribbon around the napkin or the cutlery and then to finish you can add your chosen flowers or green foliage and tuck this inside the tag too. Next up we have these gorgeous glittery place names. So you will need some glittery tags, some smaller colour tags, some tiny butterflies, a glue gun, some PVA glue, a paintbrush and also a metallic pen. Firstly, starting off with a smaller colour tag, write the name of each guest onto each tag with the metallic pen. You can always use letter stickers if you're not comfortable with hand writing the cards too. Once done, glue each tag onto the glitter side of the larger tag, placing them directly centred. Don't forget guys that all these place card names are just ideas and you can grab inspiration from these and recreate your own depending on what your wedding theme is. To finish, stick the butterfly down using the glue gun to the left side of the tag. Or you can use whatever you like to dress your tag, you don't have to use butterflies, anything that goes with your wedding theme, for example maybe shells or some artificial flowers. This tag looks stunning, I think placed on top of white plates and serviettes so that the tag stands out when guests go to find their seat. Lastly is this beautiful copper pink ombre tag. So you will need some heart tags, acrylic paint in your chosen colours, three pieces of sponge, mini pegs, glitter, PVA glue, a small brush and a metallic pen. So depending on how many guests you have, these can be a little time consuming but totally worth it if you want something different that stands out. So starting with the heart, sponge each colour onto the card into a gradient pattern. You may need to go over this a few times to intensify the colours too. Then to blend each colour out, tap off as much of the paint as you can, then sponge over to blend each colour. Make sure as well that you're using three different sponges for each colour so that you keep them separate and they blend together nicely without any mess. These were actually the place names that I chose to do for our wedding and I did these in a mint and navy ombre with a gold glitter peg and they just look really effective against the white um, plates and serviettes and the tablecloth and it just made them really stand out and show what colour scheme we had. 
So while your heart tags are drying, you can go ahead and decorate your pegs with the glitter. I'm showing you two types of pegs you can decorate with your chosen glitter colour. All you need to do is paint on the glue to the front side of the peg and sprinkle on the glitter. I would also recommend doing two coats of glue and glitter to ensure every part is covered, especially the sides as well. Then once everything is dry, attach the peg onto the top of the card and you're done. To style these, these can either be placed on top of the napkin or because of the peg you could also attach this to the guest glass. So guys, thank you so much for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you felt inspired and you are getting married this year. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and Snapchat. And if you missed my last two previous videos, you can go ahead and click on the picture links and that will take you to that video. Have a wonderful rest of the week guys and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, bye.